Hey, my friends, I've come out this morning. I've made the journey to come to Sainsbury's, rarely. And it's quite noisy because there's some roadworks going on, but there it is, all the same, Sainsbury's. So I'm going to pop inside, see if I can find a couple of things that a couple of subscribers have asked for, as well as seeing what other goodies they have. So let's go and have a look. Right, so I've just been round and I've got a stash of things, as you can see here. So we start off with this Bolognese, Stamford Street Bolognese. That was only 69p. Now I thought I'd try this Chinese chicken curry and rice. This was £2.25p. And I got one of their Taste of Difference range, slow cooked British beef bourguignon. And that was only £2. And for the vegans, this looks nice. Look, plant uh, shawarma kebab, I think that's called. And you basically just fry up these pieces of plant-based kebab and shove it in some pita, which I got here for 35p. So it's time to get this haul home and decide which one to do. Okay, my friends, so I've got everything home and I've decided to have a go at this. So, Sainsbury's Taste the Difference, slow-cooked British beef bourguignon with a rich red wine and mushroom and onion sauce with a creamy potato gratin. How can I not like this? Microwave for nine minutes. So here it is, my friends, straight out of the microwave. Look at the beef compartment. I haven't seen a glisten as good as that for a while. It's looking nice and deep and rich and it certainly smells a bit whiny, which is lovely. Then we come over to the potatoes and they are looking, I must say, rather creamy. As we stir this beast up, look at it. There's all this wonderful beef in there. There's quite a bit going on as well, I guess, because it's a taste of difference. And this was only two quid. I was quite surprised at that. I thought it would be a bit more than that, a taste of difference, but there we go, bonus all round. So let's have a look at this beef. It's looking nice and lean, and that's a decent chunk right there. And you can see the bit of herb that's attached itself to it towards the top. Another forkful has brought up a bit more shredded action. And can you see how that gravy, that sauce attaches itself to the meat? Oh, the actual sauce itself has a decent consistency, kind of like medium thick. Oh, look at it, it's dripping off the fork. I mean, it's a beautiful thing, I've got to say. It looks very appetizing. And as we stir through it, we find one of those little onions. Is that a self-skin onion? I don't know, but there it is all the same, a nice little mini whole onion. And a little bit deeper down, I found this rather plump, juicy looking whole mushroom. Oh. So we're just going to leave that mushroom sitting proudly on top of the beef and hop over to the potatoes. Now these have got a decent colour to them. Look like nice clean potatoes. No gnarly bits in there, no brown bits in there, no eyes. And there's your gratin sauce. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Look at that shining away. Blimey. It's like the sun, it's beautiful. The actual sauce itself sticks itself nicely to the fork, so it's got a decent consistency, and there are herbs rippling throughout it. Now this thing's gonna give you 489 calories, 17.7 .7 grams of fat, of which 8.7 grams is saturated fat. Alrighty, let's take this wonderful tray of eat and get involved. Now it says on here that beef bourguignon originates in Provençal Burgundy, a region which is called Bourgogne in French, hence the name, where the prized Charolais cattle famously make excellent beef. This one's been cooked in a Merlot red wine by Sainsbury's. Just look at this. <laughs> How anxious and tempting does that look? Oh my goodness, this thing looks incredible. It smells amazing, by the way. It's got a wonderfully kind of rich, deep, 
flavorful aroma about it. Okay, let's try the beef first. There's only one word to describe that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The flavour is incredible. It's a little bit whiny. It's really lovely. It's so well seasoned. And that beef just melts in the mouth. Oh, let's try potato then. Oh, the potato went down really well. It's a little bit creamy, obviously, from the cream that's on top of it. And you can taste a tiny, tiny hint of garlic somewhere in the background. There's only one thing I would say about those spuds, and that is they're under seasoned. I think you definitely need a sprinkle of salt on these tates. Surprisingly, for a taste of difference, I've just found a whacking great forkful of beef fat in there, just hanging about on its own. Can you see that, everybody? Almost looks like a, a mini brain. Have any of you guys ever had one of these bohignons? I'd be particularly keen to hear if anybody has like a homemade recipe, because I'd like to try making this thing from scratch. Let's give this onion a go. Perfect balance of flavour. Absolutely delicious. Warm, a little bit soft, a little bit crunchy, nicely seasoned, sweet and oniony. Absolutely perfect. Right then, let's get into this uh, mushroom next. Oh, oh, hey, that is arguably my favorite part of that dish. Unfortunately, there is only one mushroom. I mean, there was two onions, actually three, I've just found a tiny little baby one here. Three little onions, but only one of those mushrooms. I chomped into it and the explosion of moisture that came out of that little fun guy went straight across my tongue. Mm. The smell of mild garlic that comes off those potatoes as you eat keeps you hungry from start to finish. I'm just going to try one of those potatoes in the beef sauce. Ah, oh. oh. do you know what? I think I'm going to have to retract what I said about having to season them because when you put one of those in that sauce, the sauce seasons the potato perfectly. Do you know what I left Sainsbury's with a really big smile on my face earlier as well because I was having a bit of a fight, a bit of a battle with the um, self-scanning machine and the assistant came over and she was dead, dead nice. She dealt with the machine and then said, would you like me to scan your items for you? I said, yes, please. And she did and put them in my bag. How about that for service? I'm actually going to get involved with that fatty bit now with some meat and see how it goes. Simply divine. Simply divine. I wouldn't be surprised actually if Sainsbury's intentionally put that little blob of fat in there. Because when you mix it with the meat, it's heavenly. I am really impressed at this microwave meal that only cost two quid. This is the kind of stuff that you get served up in a restaurant. I'm not kidding. Beefy, juicy, addictive. That's one of the best microwave meals I've had the pleasure of chowing through. I will definitely buy this again, and I'm gonna give it nine and a half out of 10 to the last bite. Mmm. So, Sainsbury's, taste the difference, slow cooked beef bourguignon. Absolutely. I have very, very rarely tasted a microwave meal that tasty, that good, and that close to something that I would pay five times the amount for in a restaurant. I envy the job of your taste testers, and I would give anything to have been round that head table giving that a go before you released it on us. Two quid, two quid. So if you're feeling a bit flush one day and you've got more than a quid for an Iceland lunch, I'd absolutely go and spend it on that, people. Give it a try, you won't be disappointed. Anyway, thanks for coming. Till next time, get out of here. So here it is, my friend, straight out of the microwave. And look at the beef can, oh. Steam, steam, go away. Okay, let's take this wonderful, it was a little bit cheesy and it's creamy.
I have never experienced or rarely experienced. Oh, idiot. 